I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. And I'm Coach Victoria. And today we're gonna to be talking about four reasons that you need to give your ex space. Mm -hmm. One of the hardest things to do. Yes. We talk about it all the time because it truly is the last thing that you want to do when you're trying to repair a relationship or a connection. Mm -hmm. We feel like closeness is the way to go and we want to reconnect and we want to talk to them mm -hmm. and we just desperately want to do anything we can to fix it. But oftentimes we have to give that person space in order to allow them to process things, mm -hmm. in order to allow them to feel differently about the situation, in order to miss you, in order to realize your value in their life. Right. And so we're going to be talking about the importance of why you have to give space. Mm -hmm. So for me, one big reason is respect. So respecting their boundaries, respecting their, their decision for what they want. And respecting their decision doesn't necessarily mean that you have to like it or that you have to agree. It just means that you honor them enough to acknowledge that they can make their own decisions and that how they feel is also important and valid. Yep. And there's different types of respect as well, not mm -hmm. just in that area. That's also obviously important. Right. But you need to respect yourself. Yes. Right? Yeah. And... If somebody says they don't want to continue the relationship and you continue to force yourself on mm -hmm. them, that's showing that you don't respect and value yourself enough to say, okay, if somebody doesn't want me, I'll be okay. Right. Right. And we don't think about it, but that's what unconsciously we're telling them mm -hmm. is like, we don't value ourselves. We value the other person more. Right. We don't love ourselves, And, you know, that also causes them to kind of lose respect for you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, respect comes up in various different ways when you're going through a situation and trying to give your partner space. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to get overwhelmed and caught up in your own emotions, mm -hmm. your own anxiety, and get you to, you know, over pursue that person, to violate their boundaries, to disrespect them. Because many of us are driving by their house, asking people about them, mm -hmm. spying on them. And you guys know you're doing it, right? Because mm -hmm. you admit it in the session. So we yeah. know, you know, you're disrespecting them and they're going to pick up on those things. You're going to get caught driving past their place. People do. Yep. I've had people get caught looking in through windows, going in their house, all mm -hmm. kinds of different things. And, you know, obviously they're going to lose respect for you. In that sense, it's very important that you understand that there are two people in a relationship and two people in a breakup, and part of that is having empathy. Mm -hmm. You need to have empathy at all times, but anxiety is the very thing that makes our empathy go away, and you have to understand that the more that you're anxious, the less you're gonna have empathy and understanding for other people. Mm -hmm. And so you got to listen to what other people tell you. Even when you're anxious, it's important to understand that their points and their feelings are just as valued as yours are. And mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like that. Mm -mm. But you know, you may have had them tell you things like, well, I'm gonna be with you no matter what. I'm gonna be in this relationship forever right. and when all of a sudden they're pulling away you're like but you told me mm -hmm. and now you and you, you're angry and you're hurt and yeah. you're trying to force your own agenda but that is only going to make them feel attacked and uh want to get away from you sooner 
Exactly. Exactly. And we can really get caught up in our own mind and our own anxiety and it causes us to cross other people's boundaries and disrespect them. So you really want to be aware of your behavior. Another big reason why space is so important is that it allows your ex to process the breakup. It gives them time to experience life without you. And Margaret talks about this a lot in other videos, mm -hmm. um, but she talks about the grieving process and how it might not be in the same time frame as you are going through it, but your ex will at some point grieve the relationship. Yep. So if you're in contact with them and if you're breaking that space away from them, that's going to interrupt their process of grief. So they essentially have to start over. They're once again reminded that you're in their space, that you're available to them, and that doesn't allow them the same feelings of missing you that they would have experienced with that space. Yeah, that's so big. Mm -hmm. You want them to wonder about you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't want them thinking that they could pick up the phone and call you and get you back. That's not going to make them want you more. Right. That's not attractive. That's not exciting. That's not what people want. I know that's what you want, <laughs> but that's not what they want, right? right? Because you're anxious about them. So of course you want them. Mm -hmm. But if they are not wondering about you and they think you're still sitting around, you're desperately going to try and talk them into repairing things. Mm -hmm. You're going to try and convince them to do what you want them to do. That's not going to make them think about you or if, am I really going to lose this person? Right. You know, sometimes people feel like it's a game mm -hmm. and I can understand why they might feel like that. But I disagree with that because when you're in a breakup, that, cho that person has chosen to end the relationship. Okay. Right. And so you got to really do strategies to give yourself the best chance. Right. You don't owe them the obligations of the things that you would if you're still trying to repair it as a mm -hmm. couple. When somebody you know walks away, at that point, you don't have to be there for them and you shouldn't be there for them in the same way. Right. Because that teaches them, well, I can break up with this person, leave them, and they're still there waiting for exactly. me. Exactly. Right? Exactly. That's not going to make them want you more. It's going to make you desire you less. Right. And you might be thinking, okay, do I give my ex space even if they're in a different relationship? Mm -hmm. And how does them being with somebody else affect my chances of getting them back? Mm -hmm. So they will still grieve you and they will still feel the loss of that relationship even if they are with somebody else. It mm -hmm. might postpone it for a while. In fact, many people do get with a rebound in order to distract themselves from the feelings of grief. Mm -hmm. So those- That's big. Yeah. Because Margaret will say, mm -hmm. one of the last things people want to do is grieve. Exactly. And they will do everything in their power to not experience those negative feelings. So think about that and the fact that they cannot escape grieving you and they cannot escape the fact that you're gone it will eventually catch up with them also consider what space can do for you now i sound like a real estate agent in the future <laughs> on mars <laughs> but it gives you time to work on your own attachment insecurities and to ensure that whether you get back with your ex or whether you go out with somebody new that you're going to be in the best position to make that relationship work you also want to get comfortable with space in general, working on your own emotional self-control, working on self-soothing. We have hundreds of videos talking about mm -hmm. um, these topics and, and attachment styles, attachment theory. So the more you can learn about these concepts and the more you understand relationships, how other people behave, um, your own behaviors, and you know, reflecting on your own relationships, the better you're going to be for your future relationships. Yeah, you'll start to have those aha moments. Mm -hmm over and over again where you're like, oh, I get it now. Mm -hmm. I see what they meant when they said this. Or when I've thought about it, I realize that I've had four people that dated me say these same things and I didn't get it at the time, mm -hmm. but I get it now, right? How many times do you hear somebody say, I wish I had found you sooner, Yep. right? <laughs> I hear it almost all day long, almost yeah. every call. I wish I had found you sooner. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's again, because this isn't stuff that is taught yeah. in our relationships. I wish it was, and that's obviously why we're doing it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, 
share these videos with your friends and family so they can see, oh my gosh, I'm making these mistakes before their relationship ends. Right. Because so many relationships are are broken up simply because mm -hmm. one person wants more closeness than the other mm -hmm. and the other one wants space and they can't navigate that in a healthy way without lashing out, manipulation, controlling behavior, right. and all those negative things that really destroy a connection. Right. And we also have a lot of evidence from your own stories and those that you share um, with Craig and Margaret in calls, but also the comments that you leave. So share your story and share your experience with giving space to partners, you know, whether it's worked, whether it's not worked. We want to hear from you. Yeah. So these are some of the big ones that we wanted to touch on today. Obviously, there are more we could talk about in future videos if you like the topic. Um, of course, if you want my help personally, just go to my website, AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option I work that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Margaret is available for Skype coaching. And of course, Coach Victoria will continue to be in videos and train with us. I'll be here. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. I'm Coach Victoria. And we will talk with you soon. To get my help personally, go to AskCraig.net and click on Schedule Coaching and choose the option that works best for you. I do email coaching or Skype. To schedule a coaching with Margaret, click on Margaret on the top of the page and order a Skype with her. For the Knowledge Creative Healing course, click on the link at the top of the page and click Get Started Now.